Welcome to Thursday, Thursday evening, Thursday afternoon, where I am, the sun is out, it's lovely here, I hope it's lovely where you are, I see people checking in with their weather all around the world, saying, hey, it's raining, it's super hot, and Admenis, you are correct, this is the day that is, this is the most difficult day, I don't know if it's hard, we know what's difficult for one person, it might be easy for someone else, so we don't know, in general, there are more difficult questions in this game. But I believe in you. We hear it's hot in Temecula, that it's really humid in Philadelphia, which makes sense. This is the time of year in Philadelphia on the East Coast all around. These dog days of summer, they're hitting, getting super muggy out there. Snowing in Canada? No. No way. No way. Come on. You got to be kidding me. Sagamore Hills, Ohio, hello to you. Cloudy in Arkansas, what's going on there? I hope we bring a little ray of sunshine into that cloudy day with some trivia for you. Have you all win some SB for yourselves? Smoky in Colorado, pretty skies in Virginia. Love to hear that. Rainy in Florida, I know that Florida rain, it strikes quick and then all of a sudden it's pouring. You get a gully washer real quick and sometimes it's over. Sometimes it lasts a while. You never know. No funny business tonight? There there might be funny business. I mean, not anything weird, but maybe you'll find something funny. Maybe you won't. I don't know your sense of humor. We're all just doing the best we can here every single day, trying to have a good time. Vancouver Island experiencing a heat wave. Well, I hope you go on a hot streak in this game today. How about that? I think we're just about ready to begin because you've been working up to this moment all week. Welcome to a challenging Thursday edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Yes, this game will be a challenge, but I know you can rise to that challenge for your shot at this grand prize. That's $1,000, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple-choice trivia questions about various topics will split it. Now, even if you don't get a piece of that grand prize, don't worry. Even if you're eliminated after question number one, every question you get right will earn you one bonus SB. Now, in the case you get eliminated on like question three or four or whatever, and you keep earning the bonus SB, you have to claim them at the end of the game to add them to your account. That's as simple as a press of a button. It will pop up when the game ends, and then you just add them to your account. If you're a grand prize winner today, the bonus SP you earn throughout the game are rolled into your share of the aforementioned grand prize. And for you newcomers, once per game, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it is before question number 10, you can rejoin for another shot at that grand prize. You can take yourself back from eliminated to back in it to win it. You can do that with a free rejoin. If you don't have any, I will explain how to get them later in the game or you can spend one SB to do it. And if you think about it, you're going to make a bunch in bonus SB. So that one SB you spend to rejoin might just be worth it. But even if you just stick around and play for the bonus SB, that is okay. The big message here is don't go anywhere. Now, I'm just going to get these comments out of the way real quick. There they go. And then we can move right into your warm-up. Here is question number one. According to legend, what causes a werewolf to transform? Is it low blood sugar, magic words, or a full moon? Which of those is the cause of a werewolf transforming? When the werewolf in your life starts chaining themselves up in the basement, it's because they know that pretty soon a full moon is coming to transform them. Full moon is the answer. Ho, ho, ho! 98% of you getting that one right. That was me saying that in werewolf. That means we have... Off the bat, almost 29,000 people in grand prize contention. That number continuing to rise as the people eliminated come back in. And some of our latecomers join us and rejoin into the game. We just passed 30,000 people in grand prize contention. And if you are not in grand prize contention, don't worry because you can now earn one bonus SB for every question you get right. Starting right now with question number two. Detroit goes by what nickname? Is it the Big Apple, the Big Easy, or Motor City? By what nickname is Detroit known? Which refers to Detroit. 
Detroit being the home of auto manufacturing in America. That's why it's the Motor City. Motor City is the answer. 88% of you getting that one right. Well done. For the 8% for the eight percent of you who said the Big Apple, that is New York City. And the 3% who said the Big Easy, that's Nowlands, New Orleans, Louisiana, would be the Big Easy. Motor City is Detroit of the 12% eliminated. Got about a 30 of you coming back in. The rest of you saying, you know what? I just want to play for bonus SB. That's just fine. You can play for bonus SB. Let's move on to our next question worth one bonus SB. Haha. -ha. If you get it right, here's question number three. After her relationship with Julius Caesar, who did Cleopatra marry? Was it Mark Anthony, Marcus Aurelius, or Mark Hamill? After her relationship with Caesar, who did Cleopatra marry? Clearly, Cleopatra was into the Roman Empire. After she fell out with Caesar, she started her historic romance with Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony is the answer. 86% of you getting that one right. Historically, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. If one of them had the other one murdered. Let's hope they don't do that. All right, folks, of the 14% of you who were eliminated, over two-thirds of you coming right back in, still almost 26,000 people in grand prize contention, and we are moving on to question number four. Here is your question. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which of these foods, when properly stored, never spoils? Is it Twinkies, honey, or pineapples? Which of these, when properly stored, never goes bad? The organisms that spoil our food can't survive in this stuff, thanks to the combination of its sugar content along with its low pH level. Yes, you think it's Twinkie, but it's actually honey. Honey is the answer. 80% of you getting that one right. Well done. Love to see 80% of people getting that one. Now 18% went with Twinkies, and that is, that is the urban myth. That Twinkies last forever. And they do have a long shelf life, but they go bad. They go, they they do go bad. Even stored in their little plastic sleeves. Those will not last forever. If you have really old Twinkies, don't break those open and eat them. That is a bad idea. But a good idea is to rejoin after you get one wrong. And over 60% of the people who were eliminated, in fact, almost 80% of you did just that. We still have almost 24,000 people in grand prize contention. Over 30,700 total of you in this game. Ready to earn one more bonus SB. And let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you can correctly answer question number five. Here it is. Where would you go to visit a church shaped like Cinderella's glass slipper? Is it Taiwan, Las Vegas, or Holland? One of these places has a church shaped like Cinderella's glass slipper. If you really want your love story to have a happily ever after, you need to get married inside Cinderella's shoe. And you can only do that in Taiwan. Taiwan is the answer. 64% of you, you knew that one. Now, it's worth after this game going to Swagbuck Search and looking up pictures of this church. It is incredible. It's the glass slipper. You can go inside, you can get married there. It's pretty cool. That's really cool. You know what else is cool? The fact that the 36% of people who got this wrong, over half of you came right back in. Almost 20,000 people in grand prize contention. We are halfway done with this game. Only five questions remaining between you and that $1,000 grand prize. For the rest of you, don't go anywhere. You can still earn bonus SB, like the one bonus SB you will get if you can correctly answer question number six. Here it is. In which Disney film would you find the villain Clayton? Is it Sleeping Beauty, Aladdin, or Tarzan? Which of those movies has a bad guy named Clayton? This rotten villain starts out as a protector for the Porter family, but we soon learn that Clayton is hunting gorillas, which you can imagine doesn't go over very well with Tarzan. Tarzan is the answer. 92% of you getting that right, going, oh, I got off of the mic for that one. It's not, I'm not a Tarzan yeller. That's not what I'm known for. 92% of you getting it right, as I said, of the 8% of you who did not get that one right, a few of you coming back in. But the rest of you, knowing you can stay and keep playing for bonus SB, including the one bonus SB you'll get if you can correctly answer our next question, here's question number seven. Which of the following is older than the Aztec Empire? Is it Clocks, the Bubonic Plague, or Oxford University? 
flocks of bubonic plague or Oxford University, one of these is older than the Aztec Empire. The Aztec Empire was born in 1341 AD, which means it's older than both clocks and the bubonic plague, but not Oxford University. Oxford University is the answer. 78% of you getting that one right. Well done. History buffs in the house on a Thursday crushing the game. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. We do have some folks rejoining right now, getting us closer to about 15,000 people in grand prize contention. We're, we're sort of close to that. Still 30,200 plus of you. I implore you, if you get one wrong, don't get frustrated and leave. Earn more bonus SB and then claim them at the end of the game because you'll be really frustrated if you walk away with nothing and you don't. Now it's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's your question. Silbo Gomero is a Spanish language that boasts what unique trait? It's all grunts, it's whistled, or there are no pronouns. What is the unique trait of Silbero, Silbo Gomero? The way human beings find to communicate with each other is endlessly fascinating to me. In La Gomera, in order to communicate across the ravines and valleys, this whistled language is used. Yes, it's all whistled. They whistle, they go... I don't know if that's what it sounds like. I, if that is Sil Silbo Gomero, I hope I, I spoke it properly. 86% of you getting that one right. The last difficult question I had, and you knocked it out of the park. Well done to you. About half of the people who got eliminated coming back in. We still have over 13,000 people in grand prize contention and only two questions remaining until we see who's going home with a piece of that $1,000 grand prize. Let's move on to question number nine worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which of the following is the name of an alcoholic drink? Is it Moscow Mule, Denver Donkey, or Harrisburg Horse? One of these is the name of an alcoholic drink. Which one is it? Traditionally served in a copper cup that takes on the temperature of the drink, the correct answer is the combination of vodka, spicy ginger beer, and lime juice called the Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule is the answer. 13,129 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. And as always, I say, if you had fun playing this game, tell your friends about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive. Send a text. Send an email. But before you do any of that, make sure you go and get your special share link. You can find that after the game by clicking the invite or get more rejoins button in the main menu of this app. Because when people sign up using your link, you get a free rejoin, and they do too. Plus, you get 10% of what they earn on Swagbucks for life. Before we get to our final game, or question, rather, many more games coming. I've been working on them. Extra is the first debit card that builds your credit history and earns reward points just like a credit card, all with your existing bank account. Plus, you can do all of that with no interest fees, since Extra doesn't let you spend more than you have. That is clutch. Subscribe and connect your bank account right now after this game to earn 3,500 SP. Don't do it right now. Wait till the end of the game. The image will come up. You can click. It'll take you there. Super easy. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity, but this is a way to be more responsible with your money. Building credit history, super important. Earning reward points, you know we're down with that. Plus, you get 3,500 SB when you subscribe and connect it to your bank account. These are wins. Take the wins, my friends. Check it out after the game. Okay, here's the deal. We have 13,238 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 30,000 people still playing right now. All of you can earn yourselves one more bonus SB if you can correctly answer our final question of this game. Here's question number 10. Which of these TV shows revolves around cops? Is it Chicago Hope, NYPD Blue, or The Jerry Springer Show? Which of these shows is a show about a bunch of cops? After a success with cop dramas in the 80s, Stephen Bochco kept it rolling in the 90s when he introduced the world to the cops of NYPD Blue. NYPD Blue is the answer. 11,065 people knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize. Well done to each and every one of you taking home 10 SB plus the bonuses you earned along the way. 
MonoNC26, you are a winner. Congratulations to you. Who else do we have here? Master Deepak04, well done to you. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners, and congratulations to those of you who stuck around, earned bonus SB. Maybe you didn't get a share of that grand prize, but you just claimed some bonus SB for yourselves. You are a winner as well. And you keep adding these SB to your account day after day, week after week, month after month. When you're ready, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job all week long. Keep it rolling tomorrow with our Friday Flash edition of Swag Bucks Live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific Time. Until then, take care.